have to admit, I had no idea what this next product was. I thought it was just some novelty Bluetooth speaker, but no, it's not that. I don't even know if I would call this a Bluetooth speaker. Yes, it has a speaker and yes, it's Bluetooth, but it's more than that. It comes packaged in this boutique shopping bag. It is the Divoom Die 2 Pro. Inside the bag, it comes packaged in a carrying case that doubles as a display case. This case does require two hands to open. You press here, it's not really a button, but it does release the tension notch that's in the case. No, it does not come out of the case already turned on. I did that prior to making this video just because I thought it looked cooler that way. But this is the D2 Pro. Obviously, the thing that catches your eye first is this gorgeous display. It is a 16 by 16 matrix of 256 LEDs, a huge color palette. It's beautiful. There are a lot of things that you can do with this display. Right now I have it cycling through gallery images, the current time, the weather, the calendar date, and it's all, it's all customizable depending upon what you want to do with it. If I can direct your gaze downward for a moment away from this mesmerizing display, you will see six computer style keys. They aren't quite full size keys, but they do feel like high quality mechanical switches. And then next to them, we have a lever. I think it's supposed to be like a joystick, but it operates as a lever. And then there's a button down here. Those of you who are familiar with Bluetooth speakers will immediately note that these are not standard Bluetooth speaker controls, but they are easy to learn and I'm sure you will adapt quickly. I am going to go ahead and cover the Bluetooth speaker aspect of this product just because it is the simplest part and the easiest to understand. Divoom claims that the D2 Pro has 360 degree sound. What they mean by that is that there is a single 10 watt 45 millimeter full range driver on the top and a base port in the back. Is it 360 degrees? Sure. Most novelty speakers do not sound good. The D2 Pro does sound good. It sounds really good, but only up to about 60% volume. After that, you get a lot of distortion, especially for bass. I do think that 50% is actually the sweet spot for the speaker. At that point, you don't get the shrillness in your high frequencies and the bass sounds deep and satisfying. There is a 3000 milliamp hour battery. They say it provides eight hours of playback, but I think that's if you have the display turned off or something. Expect six hours of playback at 50% volume, and I think you won't be disappointed. You might be asking yourself, what is this thing? It is a rubber plug and it is covering some important features. As you can see, we have the USB-C charging port, a mysterious button, and the TF card slot. Now that button is the power button. Why they have that buried behind a rubber plug, I don't know, but that's where it is. It took me a little while to find it. Oh, and this tiny hole has the reset switch inside. If you ever run into trouble, you can use one of those SIM extractor tools and reset the switch with that thing. The product documentation also mentions an auxiliary port. That just, as far as I can tell, doesn't exist. I had never heard of Divoom before, but apparently they have been around since 2006, so that probably says more about me than it does about them. There are 15 million users of Divoom products worldwide, so they have built up a community. This community has access to multiple creation tools, and they're the ones that have created all these animations that you've been watching in this review. The Divoom community participates in monthly activities, prized events, and has created a massive online gallery. The D2 Pro has a companion app, which is integral to the operation of the product. In fact, you might consider that the application is the brains and the D2 Pro is the display and the speaker. So when Divoom says that the D2 Pro supports message notifications or stopwatch or 
calendar reminders or alarms or whatever it says that it does. Yes, it does do that, but it needs the companion app and this is just the display for those features. In fact, many of the applications must be started on the companion app first and then interacted with on the D2 Pro. Daivum will say that the D2 Pro supports 50,000 internet radio stations. Well, kind of. The application supports 50,000 radio stations. You have to select them from the application and then it just uses the D2 Pro as a Bluetooth speaker from your phone or, or tablet to listen to those radio stations. But nothing is on here. The D2 Pro does have a microphone and you can use this as a hands-free calling device. I tried it and the person I was talking to said that I sounded a little muffled, but it was okay. Another use for the microphone is this spectrum analyzer. You can also use the microphone to make this animated face speak. I have also used this display when listening to music and it is most effective for rap or acapella. Not so much for any other kind of music, but it's fun to watch this guy sing. One thing that confused me is that Divoom calls this 8-bit art when there are 16 by 16 pixels, but I think they are referring to an 8-bit color palette, which does give you 256 colors. There are games you can play on this. Again, they must be started from the companion app, and once you start them, I doubt they will hold your attention for more than a few seconds. They're just not that fun. The Divoom Dai2 Pro is a bit difficult to classify. It has a Bluetooth speaker, but I don't consider it to be a Bluetooth speaker. It has a display, but it's definitely not an extended display for your phone or your tablet. It is a desktop gadget. It has some functionality, but mostly I think it's just there to distract you. You could review the companion app as a product unto itself. I don't want to do that. It is a loose connection of a myriad of utilities, uh, content creation tools, music tools, uh, the, the uh, internet radio stations, the Divoom community, the chat applications, everything, uh, plus the, the, the interface to many of the applications that are running on here. Um, uh, but that's that is just kind of what makes this work but it's not what makes this interesting when you're looking at it sitting on your desk you need the app but i think you want to spend as little time in the app as possible as a user the die 2 pro is not a standalone product but i'm going to rate it as if it were it is it's cool it is well made it's beautiful to look at um, everything works the way they say it will work. Um, it's, it's very high quality. It's, we, this has a lot of weight to it. It's, this would make a fine gift. You are buying into an, an ecosystem and there's a lot of people creating user content for this product that kind of flexibility, this kind of quality, this kind of beauty, I think it demands a five out of five star rating. All the components are here to make a beautiful experience. This will, this could very well be the, <laughs> the highlight of your desk and uh, it will certainly be a conversation piece. So yeah, five out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.